Today we will learn about the types of polygons. A polygon is a closed figure made up of line segments. For example, a polygon with three sides is a triangle, a polygon with four sides is a quadrilateral, etc. Can we make polygons with more than four sides? Pause the video and try to make a 5, 6 or 7 sided polygon using math sticks. Can you make polygons in such a case? We can classify the polygons based on the number of sides. For example, a polygon with three sides is called a triangle. We can see its use in construction, making flags, building pyramids, etc. If a polygon has four sides, then it is called a quadrilateral. There are different types of quadrilateral, such as square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezium, etc. We have read about them in the previous videos. We see the shapes of quadrilaterals in handkerchiefs, floors, books, blackboards, wire mesh, and in many other objects. A polygon with five sides is called a pentagon. We can see the shape on football, dog houses, keychain, etc. If you have ever seen the part of a lady finger, once it's cut, then you know what a pentagon looks like. A polygon with six sides is called a hexagon. This shape can be seen in honeycomb. Similarly, the shape of a hexagon can be seen in its nuts and bolts, floors, etc. Can you tell what shape is the pencil before you sharpen it? Think for a while. Correct, it is a hexagon. A polygon with seven sides is called a heptagon. Here are some examples of a heptagon. If we talk about a polygon with eight sides, then we call it an octagon. You must have seen this sign on the road. Can you tell the number of sides on this polygon? Think for a while. Let me tell you. This sign is made up of eight sides. That is, it is an octagon. Similarly, some examples of an octagon are as follows. Polygons can be classified in another way. Look at this polygon. Here, the length of all sides is the same. Similarly, the measure of all the angles is the same. A polygon with all sides equal and all the angles equal is called a regular polygon. Like, this is a regular hexagon. Now, if we look at the sides of this polygon, we find that all its sides are not equal. Similarly, all the sides of this polygon are equal, but all the angles are not equal. So, both of them are not regular polygons. Such polygons are called irregular polygons. Like, these two are irregular hexagons. Please note that polygons like quadrilateral, pentagons, hexagons can be regular or irregular polygons. Now let's talk about the diagonals of a polygon. Do you remember what is a diagonal? Think for a while. Absolutely right. If any two vertices which are not adjacent are joined, then the line segment formed is called a diagonal. For example, in a quadrilateral, two diagonals can be drawn, but no diagonal can be drawn in a triangle. So, the number of diagonals in a triangle is zero. Talking about a pentagon, five diagonals can be drawn in it. Similarly, in a hexagon, 9 diagonals can be drawn and in a heptagon, 14 diagonals can be drawn. To find the number of diagonals in a polygon, we use n multiplied by n minus 3 divided by 2 formula, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. Tell me, 
What will be the number of diagonals in an octagon? Pause the video and try. You got the right answer. It will be 20. So today, we learn the different types of polygon. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on them.